Hey mama friends, Divini Ray here. The workout today is called Mothers in Love with Fitness. Now surviving the busy first year with your baby is tough. When we mamas say we don't have time to work out, we aren't making excuses, we really don't have time, am I right? Just as we're about to do a quick workout at home while our baby sleeps, the baby wakes up. That's why I often incorporate my baby and sometimes even my four-year-old into my workouts. Now if you don't have a child, don't worry, these exercises are plenty challenging without any baby weight at all. You don't need a yoga mat, you do need a towel, rug, carpet, whatever you have. Push pause, grab some water, come back and let's have fun. As you can see, I'm using a doll as the stand-in baby as my baby is napping. So we wanna start with getting our heart rates up, so march with your knees up high, just kind of move around, just get your, get your heart rate up. I love doing the squat stretch with the baby because you can really engage with your child while you're, while you're stretching. You, know, you keep your knees as far apart as you can. Imagine a rope pulling up and out of your head, keeping your back straight. You can do the prayer position, which is also called Namaste hands. And just really stretch. Engage with your baby, talk to him or her, and just have fun with it. From having two kids, I have really tight hips and I have really sore glutes a lot of times from doing a lot of glute focused exercises. So the pigeon pose is a really great stretch. I do it all the time. Hold your baby in whatever position your baby feels comfortable, whether it's to your body, whether it's away from your body. Try to keep your shoulders back and away from your ears. Keeping our backs nice and straight. We wanna keep our feet shoulder distance apart. Now when you're actually holding a real wiggly baby, it's going to keep your abs tight. And of course, as you do the squat, as you come up, you want to remember to always squeeze the glutes. Very important. Squeeze that booty. Keeping our abs tight and engaged, which of course won't be difficult when holding an actual wiggly baby. Focusing on our breathing, slow and steady. Sometimes we hold our breath when we're doing something new or when what we are doing is challenging. I do it, so I have to remember to breathe. We definitely don't want to fall into the squat. So what that means is when we're sitting back into the chair, we want to be steady and slow and controlled the entire time. This is challenging, right? Okay, we've got this. This is awesome. Just remembering to breathe and really squeeze our glutes together at the top. Slow and controlled. Slow and steady, we got this. Okay, it's important to keep our backs straight and that's why I keep my arms raised. So that just helps me to keep my back straight. And of course, you know, engaging with our baby, looking down, playing peekaboo, whatever. Whatever is fun for you. Keeping our body in a nice straight line. You don't want to arch too much. Just keep your back straight and really squeeze those glutes at the top. My little monster woke up from napping and decided to join the party. 
making silly faces, engaging with your baby, all of this will make it fun. I have so much fun with my kids when I work out with them. Wipe out! Now if you want to do a more advanced frog sit-up, what you can do is keep your arms crossed over your chest. I'm not there yet, so I'm putting my arms above my head, using my body to propel forward, really getting some momentum there. Now this is up to you, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Now again, you don't need a baby. If you don't have one, that's okay. Use a gallon of milk, a gallon of water, whatever it is that you have. Something weighted. And go ahead and push that weighted object above your head. And it's great for the shoulders. And we're just mixing it up. So I do a variety of different moves with my baby. I go from shoulder presses to squats, back to shoulder presses, some more squats. Whatever feels right for you and your baby, that's what you need to do. And while you're playing with your baby and having fun, yet actually being active, you, you forget that you're exercising. You really do. If you like today's workout, please click on the subscribe button to receive updates on the next workout series that's coming soon. And please share this video with your friends. Until next time, my name is Divini Ray. Make it a great day.